So here's Yeti's Rambler mag slider lid. It's completely see-through, but if you hold it at a certain angle, you can kind of see that it has like this really cool oil slick appearance to it. On top, the lid is just under three and a half inches, the bottom diameter being closer to three inches, and it's about seven eighths of an inch tall. Now the mag slider has such a satisfying motion and click to it, and at first I didn't get it, the action of this slider, but now that I get it, it's one of those ingenious designs that you wonder why it took so long for someone to come up with it. And that's because it has a magnet housed underneath and then another one housed up in the slider here, and so it just has an easy slide back and forth as the magnetism engages and disengages. And as for the seal that this lid makes, it has a double-lipped O-ring to make a complete seal. But when you need to untop it, it has a tab here for an easy pull-off lid, and also it has an easy pour mouth design right here. Let's see how well all these things work. You can see the lid squishes on and off, and the mag slider can be moved with just one hand. In the drinking test here, you can see that the flow comes out nicely and it doesn't spill out around my mouth. Sometimes when you pour out mugs like this, the liquids like to run down the side of it. Let's see if that happens with this one. Let's see, oh no, look at that. Nice, clean, smooth pour. Even if I try to get it to run down the side of it, it won't even really do it. It just doesn't want to do it. Okay, now I've got some water in it. We're gonna do a shaking test and see if water comes out. It looks like just a little bit of water comes out, a little bit splash on my finger there. Okay, now let's try the upside down test and see if it pours out when it's upside down. You can see it does wanna drip just a little bit. Not much though. Okay, now here I have this steaming hot water. I'm gonna put it in the Yeti and see how long it stays hot for. So I've actually had to wait until the next day to report back to you on the heat test with this thing. And that's because I poured it at 3.37 p.m. and it was smoking hot as you saw. And then I tested it at 7.30 and it was still super hot. I could barely touch it for even like a second. So that was just about four hours later, still super hot. I tested it again at 9.15, so just about two hours later, or an hour and 45 minutes later, and it was still hot, but not like burning hot like it was before. I could probably put my finger in the uh, hot water for like maybe a second or two before I had to withdraw it. And then I didn't test it again until the next morning at 6.41 a.m., and it was still warm at that time. So that should give you a good sense of how well this does hanging on to hot liquids. And in terms of drinking from it, you know, the flavor of water didn't change at all. In fact, I think it tasted really good coming out of this. It was about as close to the original taste of the water as I think you can get drinking out of this Yeti. And of course, I also put some coffee in it and I drank that down. And after that was gone, I wanted to test to see if it still hung on to the smell of the coffee. And before I rinsed it, of course, it still did. The mug more so than the lid itself. But then I gave them a good rinse and the mug had almost completely lost the smell of the coffee and I could still kind of smell the coffee on the lid. And that's when I figured, oh, it's probably this O-ring right here that was hanging on to that smell so then I gave it a proper wash and the smell had completely dissipated. So I think this lid is perfect for anybody who needs a, a nice little handy lid for their 10 or 20 ounce tumbler or if you need a replacement lid this is definitely the one for you. And if there's any negatives to it I would just say that I wish that it came in some different colors too but I kind of get it it's see-through and you want to be able to see what's inside of the Yeti.